Good morning, readers. Good morning, Mrs. Harris. Okay. Today, for our lesson, for our learner target, the I can statement says, I can explain differences between fiction and nonfiction text. Are there any words in your learner target that you're not familiar with or you don't know what they mean? Mm -hmm. Sophia? Are there words explain. When we say, I can explain, does anybody know what that means to explain? Yes. Madeline? Mm -hmm. You're using your words to describe what something means? Absolutely. So I can explain or use my words to describe differences between fiction and nonfiction text. Gino? Differences. Differences. Can anybody know what differences mean? What's differences? Ewan? You mean like, like one is like that and one is like that. Like okay. Different. Okay, so one is one way and something else is a different way. Okay, so differences means you're going to tell things that are not the same. Okay, ways that they're not alike. We good? So I can explain differences between fiction and nonfiction text. So that's our target. That's our goal for so, today. A few minutes ago, I put you into groups and I told you that you're going to be on a team and we're going to be looking through books. Let me explain to you a little bit of what's going to happen. At your table, I went through and found some books that are fiction, some books that are nonfiction. And I mixed them all up in a pile for you. And today you're going to be detectives. Can you be reading detectives for us today? Yeah. Okay, so today you're going to be a reading detective and you're going to find some different characteristics of fiction books, and you're going to find some characteristics of nonfiction books, and then you're going to find some characteristics or um, that can fit both. They could be fiction or they can be nonfiction. Okay? Fiction or nonfiction. Is there anything you already know that you have in your brain that we've talked about yet already this year? with fiction and nonfiction, one of them is real and the other one is not real, it's fake. And that is a great start because we absolutely have two cards that go with that. Can anyone tell me which one is real? It's true and it's facts. And which one is not real? It's pretend and made up. If it's fiction, it tells a story. It's something that's made up and it didn't really have to happen. It's just something fun to read and listen to. But it doesn't mean it really happened. Good. So Good. nonfiction means it's real. And we have written portfolio pieces where you have to add facts and information about things that are true. They're real. They're not your opinion. Come on up and put this one up. Your first clue says you need to look through your pile of books for a table of contents. Raise your hand. I love the way these tables haven't touched their books yet. Awesome. Raise your hand if you can tell me what a table of contents is. Shaheen, what's a table of contents? They like tell you which chapter you're on. Absolutely. And it has numbers to tell, or like, it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter mm -hmm. Table of contents will tell you the name of the chapter, and then the page number they're found on. Detectives, look in your books and see if you can find a book with a table of contents. Which book did you find a table of contents in, Selena? Okay, so Selena found it in a magazine. Inside of this magazine, it tells you the page number and then what the articles are about. Some of the articles inside of here are nonfiction. They're real articles about facts and information. Some of the articles in here are stories. So they're fiction, they're made up. So it does have both. Did so we have found the table of contents in a nonfiction book, in a book that has fiction and nonfiction. Has anyone found a table of contents in a fiction book? First table found a fiction book 
that has stories in it, made up stories about spiders and little spiders that jump. And guess what? It has a table of contents. So when we say table of contents, is it fiction, nonfiction, or both? What kind of books would have a table of contents in them? What kind of books would we have? Fiction, nonfiction, or both? Madeline, or, uh, Megan, I'm sorry. Both. Come on up and put that up here for both. All right, detectives, ready for your next clue? I'm going to show you a book now, and I'm going to show you some different char uh, characteristics of fiction and nonfiction, and I want you to try to decide which one you think it is. Are you ready? Yes? No? Are we ready, friends? Yes. Okay. So, when I look at this book, it has labels in it. So it has this picture of an eagle, and then it's labeling. It has the name of a part of the eagle, and it has a, li a line pointing to it. So it says eye, and it's pointing to his eye. And then a bill, and it's pointing to his bill, and it tells you what that is. And then it's telling you each part of the eagle with a line pointing. That's a label. Everybody say label. Label. And first graders, when we work in our text, sometimes you can find labels like this. This is a big example of a label. Do you think this is fiction or nonfiction? And be ready to defend your answer. Raise your hand if you can tell me if you think it's fiction or nonfiction, but be ready to defend your answer why you think that it's that one. Okay. So if it's real, Leah, we said real is nonfiction. So you think it's nonfiction because eagles are real? Friends, you had some great ideas. I want everybody to track me with your eyes right over here. You told me at the start of today's lesson that we were going to explain the differences between fiction and nonfiction text. If you think we hit our learner target, if you think you can tell me a difference between fiction and nonfiction, show me your sign. Show me your sign. Think you can. Now, if you think you can give me an example of a difference between fiction and nonfiction, raise your hand so I can see who thinks. Then give me an example. 